Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to color grade this picture and we're going to use the selective color control only and within that just the whites and blacks control. And we'll use the orange and teal complementary color scheme where you're using opposite colors on the color wheel. And you can use any pair, but orange and teal often works quite well. And here, this is the lighter areas, because we're dealing with just the tones, is going to be red fully up, green halfway, and blue all the way down. And teal, red all the way down, green halfway up, and blue fully up. So it helps when doing this, because we're just going to adjust via the tones, that we can do this. Take a white layer here, this is just a rectangle, go to the gradient tool and snap one side, hold down the shift key to make sure it stays nice and vertical. And if that and you want to change the whites and blacks, you can do so up here. Then we'll put a selective color onto this. We're going to take off the relatives because we want full control and go here, here to the whites. And the whites control is going to adjust just the left hand side here, just the white side. And this is a slight trick with this, which is that this is a subtractive process. In other words, whites have got red, green and blue already turned fully up. So we want to turn them down to get the colour we want. So for orange, we want red fully up, green halfway up and blue all the way down. So this red is already turned fully up, so we don't change it. Green we want to turn halfway down, so we turn that down to 50. And blues we want to turn all the way down. And this takes the blue out and that leaves us with orange. Then Let's go to the blacks. And for teal, we want the opposite. In the blacks here, we're going to add colours. So we want blue all the way up. And then green halfway up. Remembering, of course, that this is a red, green and blue control here. Those are the channels that it changes. With this, however, we may look at this and go, well, the, the teals here, there are these, I want this in the dark, so I want this to be a bit darker than this. So one way I can do this is adjust it here. As long as I've got a straight line between these three, it's going to be affect this. I can also change it here. I can make it darker by turning this up. Be careful of going too far, because look what happens here. You get the strange sort of line going out through there. So you might want to sort of control that there. You can also use these three here to control and get the colour that you want. So there's some balancing act there. Try it. Then maybe also the oranges were a bit bright so let's go back to the whites. We can bring the straight line for orange down here so in other words effectively the blue here is further down than the green. And we can use the control here to adjust it but again look out because it's you don't change it much because it goes a bit too far then you might think about what about the blend mode could we use a blend mode in it and it's a good idea to have a look at this here because if i change the blend mode here you might think something like overlay would work but when look at that what happens is you've lost almost all the orange and similarly the teal's gone largely a bit more of it left there I'll try again the other soft light and so on down here. It just doesn't going to work. The one that is useful is the colour blend mode. And you can see here what's happening is it's preserving the whites, it's preserving the blacks, but the near whites and near blacks are changed. So let's keep that one on. Then I can click on here, Control c to copy it. Go to my picture here, Control v to paste it, and I've immediately got an orange and teal scheme. 
However, this might not be quite right, but that's okay. This gave us a starting point. So we can double click that down here, go to the whites and say, how can I change this? Is this just a little bit too much? Well, if you don't like it in the sky, you can always mask that out. Just paint black on this. If you want to make it a bit whiter, you could move this down a bit or use the black control here. Find some balance where you like what you're seeing and always turn it off and on, off and on till you see what you want. Similarly, you can go to the blacks and say, do I need to change this? Mm, maybe make it a little bit blacker. It's a bit dull there. I could also use curves, of course. Let's just turn that up a bit there to make that contrast a little bit stronger in the blacks. And there we go. We've gone from here to here with one control, but doing so by understanding what is happening with the selective colour control. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.